Hello and welcome to the Online College of Coding video tutorial series. This is video 7 in the series on intermediate programming concepts. In this video, we will be looking at using the console, how to read and output data to it. Before watching this video, it's recommended that you've seen the previous videos in this tutorial series. Let's get started. The console window is one of the best things available for debugging your code. By default, the console window outputs information about your game when you click the play button. You might have seen all the information pop up just before your Game Maker game starts. Using the console window, you can quickly and easily have your program feed out information as it runs, just like when your game is starting up. If you aren't sure a part of your program is working, you can get it to write its calculations into the command window, and you can see it's working out. Just like when you write down all of your working out for a maths question, so the teacher can see if you are working properly. Data that has been output to the console window can be referred to by a few different names. Usually each different game engine will use a different name, but it'll always be something along the line of debug log, output window, or console message. Here's an example of an if statement that checks a player variable to see if it has a value. If it doesn't, it uses the show debug message function to output a message to the console. This if statement in C sharp does the same thing. If the player variable has no value, it uses the debug.log function to send a message to the console. This concludes the series on intermediate programming concepts. You now have all the knowledge that you need to start one of the intermediate programming courses using GameMaker or Unity. So see you there.